Cincinnati Police Department is in for a major overhaul. That's the result of an audit conducted over the past few months by an outside agency. Nine News reporter Janelle Walton is live in the newsroom with how the changes could affect your safety. Janelle? Carol and Brendan, the final report is 150 pages long. The chief says he wanted to find ways to not only cut costs, but improve how the department is run from the top down. Chief Craig says he wants it to be more efficient. The audit review took place between October and December of last year. It was conducted by a strategic policy partnership with the goal of making the department of over 1,000 officers more efficient and more cost effective. Chief Craig says he would like to implement many of the recommendations, including improving the quality and effectiveness of investigations, shrink specialized departments, encourage creative thinking, and improve the department's use of technology. There are no plans to replace one assistant chief who retired last November. And we've already seen a big change in assignments with the reassignment of 50 officers back to street patrol yesterday. The president of the Fraternal Order of Police says while some officers complained about the reassignments, many others welcomed it. That has been one of the major concerns is the strengths in the districts. Um, that is one of the things that uh, our officers have come to us about, the fact that a lot of time in the summers there's no time off, no time off, can't get off. Uh, do the staffing levels within the districts, and I think that um, this is a, a very um, interesting change and I think that um, the districts are going to benefit from as well as the officers that are out there. The recommendations also include revitalizing SERVE, Cincinnati initiative to reduce crime and committing to get the community involved in the development of police policies. Now coming up at six, we'll hear from one organization that believes a commitment to community can help reduce crime. Brendan. Janelle Walton, thanks. The look